quick disclaimer, I love everybody, all walks of life, and anyone or anything I mention in this video is purely educational and no hate is intended toward any person or group. So I used to think that total control was the goal of global governments. And that was true at one point in time, being the first step. But I think we've reached the point where population control is the next step, and dare I say, maybe even the current step. They convince multiple generations that the earth isn't big enough and we will run out of resources one day. But the whole global population could fit in Texas or even smaller, even LA. And they already genetically modify foods and desalinate water. So that's a total myth. If you look back as far as almost a century, maybe even more, there have been bills proposed, passed, documents unsealed, even very public conversations about how population control should be the number one focus of the elites. They package and wrap it up with a nice little bow so people with empathy or those pretending to be empathetic with virtue signaling can carry out these ideals and parade them around like they are doing something great for the world. They can rest their head well at night knowing that they are the good guys because they support the following ideologies. A wide open border, the fentanyl crisis, abortion, fast food, fluoride, contaminants in your water, poison in the food, poison in the sky, RNA and DNA, gene altering therapy drugs. It's not homophobic to say the simple fact that only a male and female can procreate and reproduce. It requires a male sperm and a female egg. So pushing LGBTQ ideologies on young children, impressionable children, gender ideology and transition surgeries is all a form of sterilization at a young age. We tell people it's okay to be obese. As a matter of fact, it's, it's actually beautiful. They are now pushing for assisted suicide in the hospital setting with the help of doctors and nurses. So in this case, it's flat out population control. It's not even hiding it behind something anymore. And as much as I am for individual freedoms and free will and choices, I am a lover of God and life first and foremost. If you read between the lines of what I'm saying and you are awake, then you know this video isn't about overweight people or a woman getting an abortion or gay rights or trans people or someone who committed suicide. I feel for and love all of you wherever you are on your journey. This is about the government carrying out an evil agenda through its citizens in broad daylight and half the world sleeping through the process. Keeping people docile with porn, OnlyFans, drugs, alcohol, Hollywood award shows, and other corporate major televised media events. I'm not saying this from an ivory tower looking down on people. I have been guilty of participating in some of these things at times, and I am aware of the repercussions and circumstances, and I try to be a better man every day than I have been the day before. We often say, how could the Holocaust have happened? How could slavery have happened? But we never seem to stop and think and ask, what's happening to us right now? I'm not making this video to scare you. I'm making it in hopes that it will wake up one person. I don't want you to feel hopeless. There is a way you can push back. Get in the best shape of your life. Eat healthy. Exercise your freedom of speech. And if you live in America, exercise your Second Amendment right. If you're in a position to grow your own food, do it. Become as independent as possible and rely on the government for as little as possible. Please share this video so we can change the world together.